Hi loves, welcome back to my channel. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Daisy G and I like to do videos here on YouTube. Today I have a great eyeshadow look. I hope you guys enjoy. I did start off by um, already having my eyebrows done in this tutorial. Uh. Yeah. And well, to start off this look, I am using a Maybelline primer, eyeshadow primer. I got the color matte. It leaves you a matte finish. This works for me absolutely because I do tend to get oily on my crease from my eyeshadow from eye. So this helps me out a lot. I am blending it with a flat brush from Wet n Wild, which I got at the Dollar Tree store. For this look, I am using the Gwen Stefani Urban Decay palette that I got a while back. Um, I am starting off to use the color Blonde, which is the lightest color of the palette. And this, I'm just going to put it with the Wet n Wild flat brush to set all my eyeshadow base. Okay, now for the crease, I am using a Morphe brush, the M441, and I am blending the colors Stark and Anaheim, which I absolutely love. These have like a light gray brown kind of tones and I just blend it in all over back and forth on my crease. This is going to be a transition color obviously. Just to let you know guys I was doing a talk through video but that didn't work out so ignore my talking. Now what I take is a simple blending small brush and I am going to take the color um, Serious which is a gray with a little bit of glitter on it. And this I just try to focus it on the outer part of my eye and then working myself inside I just go back and forth back and forth um, it's really simple all you need to do mainly is do the blending work which is the hardest but just be patient and you'll get the look done for the center of the eyeshadow I am using the color pop which is a glittery um, champagne color and I use it for the center mainly um, and the inner corner of my eyelid. And I just blend it with a Wet n Wild flat brush. I do go back with the Morphe brush to blend with no extra powder or any eyeshadow. I just blend my gray tones with the brownish tones. For eyeliner, I am just doing a really winged out eyeliner um, look. I am doing a black eyeliner. I am using the NYC eyeliner, the liquid liner, which I absolutely love. It's easy to work with and it's really cheap. It's only like maybe $3 at Walmart. And guys, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like, comment, and share so I can know that you like these kinds of videos. I am trying to do more English videos now, um, but let's continue with the look. I start using my eyelash curler because I'm going to put a pair of false eyelashes. I am going to use the Wispies Ardell Demi Wispies, which those are my favorite, I believe. They're just classic, you know, big, and just I just love them. Before we move on to the foundation part, I did, I just want to let you guys know, I did prime my face with the um, Smashbox primer and I had already applied my eye cream. I'm going to leave all the stuff that I used in the description box below if you guys are interested. For foundation, I did use the Pro Glow Inflatable L'Oreal Paris Foundation and I just applied it, you know, straight to my face and I am going to blend it in with a Real Technique beauty blender which I absolutely love it's really economic it's only five dollars for concealer I am using the Maybelline better than skin and I'm using the color medium light to medium and I do blend it as well with the beauty blender to set my concealer, I am using the Benet Banana Powder. I am applying it with the Beauty Blender as well. And to contour my face, I am using the Contour Kit Light to Medium from Anastasia Beverly Hills. And I'm just using a simple angle brush. Damn. 
From there I do take an elf brush and I do remove my banana powder. I love this brush. I think I only got it for $3 and it fits perfect under your eyes. Um, to set my whole face, I am using the Studio MAC Fix. Um, I am in the color NC35 and I do take an e.l.f. Kabuki brush and blend it in really well. For blush, I am using the Por Vida from Kat Von D. I do apply it with a angle brush, but I felt it was too pink, so I do take some brushes and try to, you know, um, blend it in really well. For my highlighter, I am using a fan brush from Morphe, and this is the brush M310. I am using the highlighter from Becca, the Champagne Pop, which I absolutely love. For my under eye um, eyeshadows, I am using the color Serious again with a small pencil brush. And well, to finish the eye part, I am using a black eyeliner. I am just using a NYC black liner. This, I think, completed my eye look. And for my lips, I do a combination of lipstick and um, I use the chestnut from MAC to trace my lips and then I go with stone which is a like gray dark gray or dark brown with gray color and this makes a perfect combination for like grayish tones I believe I did put on mascara I just used a waterproof mascara from covergirl and this is the final look. I hope you guys really loved it. I really loved it. Um, please don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment, and share. And I'll see you till the next time.